Yo, welcome to my latest reading vlog. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm currently reading Them, Adventures of Extremists by John Ronson. So that's uh, going pretty well so far. I'm enjoying that. And then up next, I'm going to get tackling this bad boy, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Durr. Uh, and this is going to be a buddy read with uh, Melanie. I can't remember her channel name, actually, but I'll try and add it if I remember. Oh, I didn't notice this. It looks like there are lots of short paragraphs, which is, I actually quite like book. Uh, sorry, lots of short chapters, and I, I quite like books that are like that. So that's good. Um, I finished my audio book last night of Travels With My Aunt by Graham Greene, so a review of that will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, on the whole, I enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five. That was for Rereadathon for the March prompt. Uh, my next audiobook is going to be The Stand by Stephen King, which I'm going to start this month and possibly finish in April. Um, that's going to be sort of a buddy read with Todd the Librarian while he's rereading it at, at a similar time. But God, I dread, I dread to think. Should we see? Let's have a look. It's 47 hours, 47 minutes and 38, and 38 seconds, yeah. So it's 48 hours, 48 hours of audiobook. Okay, so that's where we're at anyway, and uh, later on I'm off to the open mic at the Chilton Taps, so that should be good. I don't know about that, eh? Fuck off, mate, you know what I mean? All right, I'm currently watching Supersonic, which is a documentary about Oasis on Netflix. Uh, I've been doing some more work as well. I've been doing the ghostwriting. I'm ghostwriting a fantasy novel series for someone, so that's very exciting. Um, yeah, still reading them, getting towards the end of it now, so um, probably finish that tomorrow, I guess. It's currently ten past six, so give it a couple of hours, and I am going to go off to the pub to play some music. So it should be good. I might even play some music before I go as well. The time goes slow when you quit the things you love when you were young.
he gets intimidated by the dirty pigeons. They love a bit of it. Who's that good lord marching? You should cut down on your poor life, mate. Get some exercise. Whoa, the people. So many people. And they You're a coma dweller. You're not about this life. Mmm. Hog me ass. And, you ain't and that guy's called life. Real Deal. You know what I mean? But we like hog me ass. This PE teacher life. <laughs> oh Christ, why is it so dark? Okay, that's a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm currently watching. I'm currently watching Don't Flop battle rap videos as you do. It is quarter to four on Wednesday, the fourth of March. I don't know where this year's fucking going, man. Uh, this evening, I am off to the radio. Um, it's my last radio training session. Um, and then I'm getting my own show on um, Wickham Sound. So that's due to start on Tuesday the 24th of March. So I've just got to do my last bits of training before I start, you know. And I need to figure out a few bits because it's going to be a show about the arts. Yeah, I, I want to get local musicians on if I can, which means I need to be able to get their MP3s and put them into the radio system to be able to play some local music and stuff. But yeah, it should be good. Um, yeah, let me just drink some of my coffee. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is for this show. Because um, normally I would be having a guest, and so it's kind of hard to do these simulated shows because the actual show would obviously be more planned out, but I can't really plan out when I don't know, you know, what the scenario is going to be or whatever when I go along. Whereas, you know, I know if I've got a one hour show between seven and eight, I, I can plan out that hour. But yeah, that's all cool. Um, oh, I picked this up today. Cuckoo Song by Francis Hardinge. I saw it in a charity shop and I've really enjoyed reading Hardinge in the past. I'm still reading Them by John Ronson. This evening I might start my audiobook of The Stand. And once I finish Them, I'm also then going to move on to All the Light We Cannot See, which is a buddy read. Went to the open mic last night, played some songs. I don't know whether I got any footage or not. It depends how long my battery lasted, so I will investigate that in a bit. Um, what else is happening? Tomorrow I'm going to like a depression group. Um, it's like a cognitive behavioral therapy that's offered by um, um, a local mental health group. So there's that, uh, and there's also an open mic in the evening at the Garibaldi, which I might go to. There is uh, some random girl there wants me to play some songs with her, so I don't know, I might do. <laughs> I don't know, that's never a good idea, is it? It always goes badly wrong. Like, so it's probably not worth the hassle. Plus, it's kind of expensive there. Um, I don't know, I might go, I'll see. And then on Sunday, there's a jam at the Bellevue. Uh, there was one last Sunday as well, that was fucking nuts as well. <laughs> Christ, what is going on? I'm so busy that I'm just like, right, just take one day at a time, focus on whatever's next. And my calendar's getting nuts, oh my god. And there's other stuff happening as well, so I've had, um, I had my book cover for my next book back from my publishers today. I think that's actually due out next month, I need to check with them. And um, also I don't know whether I'm allowed to say, well I'm probably not allowed to say this, it was an informal discussion anyway, but um, the lady who runs the art centre, she's going to be She's pregnant, so she's going to be off for maternity leave soon, and they're looking for a replacement. And I may be in the running as being a replacement, <laughs> so I'd it would be part time as well. So I'd still be freelancing and writing my own stuff, but it's you know could be pretty cool. But yeah, with all that, there's so much stuff going on. Me and Dave are probably going to be working on a new album as well. I actually did some recording yesterday. I recorded. It's just the um, just the rough demo, I guess, of um, this new song of mine called Watch the Planet Die. So I've just recorded guitar and vocals for my bits and then Dave can add his bits, like lead guitar and shit. Let's have a listen, wait a minute. It also has this really cool chord progression, I love the chord progression. Time to watch the 
I'm getting better at doing harmonies. Where's the chorus? Oh, let me do. There's a... And so she dances in the evening when there's no one near to see her. She is on fire until she finds someone to try to put her out. And if she dies before the morning when the sunlight hurts my eyes, I'll remember her as long as I'm. And then Dave can add a solo. Biggie, you can say hello to the internet. What are you up to? We're watching The Stranger, aren't we? Aren't we? What's that little noise for? What's that little noise for? What's that little noise for? Yes. Oh, all right. So I'm watching The Stranger and you can probably hear the music from it in the background. I'm very sorry, I can't pause it at the moment. My computer just exploded. My computer keeps doing this thing where it overheats. And then I get stuck, like now I'm, I'm waiting for it, I'm pressing the on button and it's not turning on. Let's see, what's this lady saying? I've been quite enjoying it so far. She was in Benidorm. So I'm just gonna have to talk over the sound of the TV, I guess, because I can't pause it. I'm very sorry, um, but it is recording time. I was about to start recording. I'm still reading All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Durr. I'm on page 140 of about 500 or so. Hey, it's loading. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying that so far. Oh, I went to Greg's today and got some of their vegan hot cross buns. Ah, uh, well, they're just hot cross buns that happen to be vegan, but they do um, vegan donuts as well. And I really want to eat some and Every time I go in, they're sold out. Uh, I, so yeah, I went for a, a meeting today. Stop talking loudly. Stop talking loudly. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Um, yeah, I went for a meeting earlier today, which went quite well. Um, there is an open mic tonight, but I'm not going to it. So I'm going to sit here reading the, uh, watching The Stranger, reading some more of all the light we cannot see, and um, just being productive, really. I've had some books in the post which I'm going to haul and I also picked up and I don't know where the fuck it is. Is it still in my coat? It must still be in my coat. I found this Johnny Cash book in a charity shop. So I was like, well I had to go to town anyway to, um, to post some stuff from my eBay store. Link below if you want to buy some books. That book is not in that pile. So where the f oh here it is. Yeah, and I was 10 minutes early for my meeting, so I went around the charity shops, and the only thing I found that I did want to read is this, Johnny Cash Forever Words, The Unknown Poems. So yeah, some Johnny Cash poems, pretty cool. I I'm listening to Stephen King and watching the snooker and I've just been eating these things they're great but they're habanero flavored Here, hang on so they do get a bit spicy <laughs> ah and I hurt my tooth as well so what is new it is Saturday the 7th Ah, that burns. It burns. <laughs> um, yeah, last night I went to see Splash the Cash at the Bellevue. Um, I was supposed to be helping at the art centre, and then I was then supposed to be helping today. Uh, but the lady, she, because she's pregnant, she's not feeling too well at the moment, so we're going to do Monday. Um, so nothing much planned today. I'm going to be doing some freelance stuff, a little bit of booktube as well. Probably have an early night, to be honest. And then, uh, yeah, back to the Bellevue tomorrow for an acoustic jam. Battery ran out, but we're back. 
Uh, I'm still reading All the Light We Cannot See. I am on page 412 of 532-ish. 531, I think. So I'm hoping I might finish that today, because I am kind of whizzing through it. I mean, if you look at, you know, I've, I've made a good dent. So, uh, and then after that, I've got some shorter books to read, and then I think I'm buddy reading My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier next week. But I am enjoying it. Overall, it's probably a 3.5 out of 5 so far. A full review will be coming soon. Um, yeah, and I'm currently listening to uh, The Stand, and it's really weird. <laughs> like, why did I think it was a good idea to listen to The Stand when everyone's talking about coronavirus? Alright, I'm currently watching The Coldest Game, which is, um... I guess, like, um, it's based on a true story, or it claims to be, about a chess match between the Soviets and the US during the Cold War. And it's alright so far, it's a bit cringy here and there, to be honest. I also finished reading All the Light We Cannot See, so I'm just about to film my final few bits for that. I've been listening to The Stand as well, and uh, I'm about to start reading Trash Panda by Lisa Cantoral, which is a book of poetry. Hello, apparently I'm already on low battery. Let's try this battery, see if this battery lasts any longer. Here's Biggie, hello Biggie. It's not gonna last much longer, I can tell it's already flashing at me, so we're gonna go and charge and come back later. Wanted this baby. We agreed on the pill so the baby wouldn't happen. All right, so I'm watching the snooker and listening to the stand again. I have some battery now. So, I'm also sitting back and relaxing because why not? Um, so, news. Well, yesterday, it's... T well, today is Monday the 9th of March. Yesterday, there was the Sunday Jam at the Bellevue, so I went to that and played a few of my songs. Drank a little bit too much beer, but had a generally quite a nice time. Uh, and I got a message while I was there from the lady at the art centre to say that her water's broken. And then a message today saying, baby's here. So, um... She wasn't due to be off work for like another two weeks. Um, tomorrow I'm going to the art centre for an interview to potentially get a part-time bar manager job. Um, hey Biggie. To kind of replace her while, she, while she's off on maternity leave. Which could be interesting because I don't know enough really. Like I've been training but not enough. Um, I think we're all going to be a little bit overwhelmed over the next few weeks. But yeah, I'm going to that tomorrow afternoon, and then on Wednesday, in the daytime, I'm on the radio on my friend Claire's show. Uh, she used to host Planet Claire, now she's got a different show. And then Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm going to be working at the Arts Centre uh, for productions of Chicago, which is on. Uh, but that's just to work these particular shifts, and then this job thing is like a long-term thing, you know. Uh, and then Sunday, there is a Sunday Jam at uh, the Rose and Crown, which is the pub around the corner from me. And then after that, I'm off to uh, Buxton to stay in a cottage with my mum. Well, hopefully. I mean, assuming that I don't need to be at the art centre if they offer me this job. I don't know. I'll, uh, we'll, t we'll see what happens tomorrow and I'll update you on that. In terms of reading, I finished reading Trash Panda by Lisa Cantoral, um, and actually I was going to do a review of this, but I haven't really tabbed out enough, so I'm just going to read you the poems that I tabbed, I guess, so. Eat, fuck, love. I want to see if you'll still love me after I ruin your life. I want to be your trash panda and fuck in the mud, eating ice cream by the pound. Fuck the diet. Eat trash. Eat me. Be free. She says at the end that a trash panda is a nickname for raccoons and that she sort of identifies with that as a term. Here we have, I'm eating avocado toast and I feel sad. I'm eating avocado toast and I feel sad because my, boy, because my friend's boyfriend is a total dick. He's also fat and gross, but I guess he can't help that. I'm glad my boyfriend is hot, but also funny. He makes me laugh. He's my sexy jester. I'm trying to enjoy my avocado toast, but I'm worried about my friend. My empathy is killing my brunch, but seriously, avocado toast is the best, and poetry is bullshit. And here we have, uh, I'm just going to say Facebook instead of FB, but it's written as FB. Facebook is my tarot deck. People think I'm a Satanist on Facebook. I'm not sure why. I don't think I've ever said I was. Facebook is where people go to die. Facebook is a graveyard of lost souls, all dark and bleeding upon their Facebook pages. 
Facebook is emo as fuck. Everyone wants their problems to be everybody else's problems. Facebook is my magic mirror. Facebook is my tarot deck. So yeah, I gave this a 4.5 out of 5. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, it's by Clash Books, published by those guys as well, who I've been following a with a little bit of interest recently. So um, I think this is my first or second Clash Books book. But yeah, it was excellent. 4.5 out of 5, my current favourite poetry collection that I've read this year, knocking Elizabeth Horan off the top spot, although her collection is also very good. Uh, and speaking of poetry collections, here we have Forever Words by Johnny Cash. These are the unknown poems. I mean, to be honest, a lot of them are song lyrics. The cool thing about this is that um, they're all like reproduced. So when he hand wrote his lyrics and stuff in his journals, they've all been scanned in and reproduced in the books, which I thought was pretty cool. I would say that you don't really see a side of him that you, you haven't already seen through his music. Um, but there was like a cool little introductionary essay and a few photos and stuff. I mean, it'll be going in my permanent collection, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're a Johnny Cash fan. And if you are a Johnny Cash fan, you probably already heard all of the songs that are in it, you know? But yeah, it was, it was good. I gave that one a 4 out of 5. Oh! I also finished reading All the Light We Cannot See, which I gave a 3.5 out of 5 to. There'll be a full review for that. It was alright. Yeah. I, I don't really get all the, the fuss, to be honest. It was well written and an okay story, but I, you know, it was fine. 3.5 out of 5. And now I'm reading Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. And, um, I mean, I guess it's historical fiction, is it? I don't really know when it's set, to be honest. I've not been really paying that much attention. I'm on page 50. I have tabbed out a few things to talk about, but on the whole, it's a pretty dry read. But um, I'm doing this as a buddy read, and I'm hoping to tick this off within the next couple of days, and then I can get back to reading a few more shorter books. And um, I'm trying to get my TBR to below 50, and I might be able to do that this month. I don't know. We will see. Again, if I'm off on holiday next week, I'm going to get to do a lot of reading as well. But I might not get to do much reading this week, because I'm going to be working behind the bar all the time. But I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and I got my mum a Mother's Day card from Biggie, look. From the cat on Mother's Day. Anyway, that seems like a good place to end this vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.